mimic those properties. So remember when we're moving this goal we're really only moving one, uh, one of the cloners. So what we're doing is we're we're moving our original arm goal. So if I made a null object and I set up my inheritance um, effector somehow, I, I'm pretty sure that those have to be um, used on a MoGraph object, so I might have to drop it into a fracture object or something like that. But maybe when I lift this up, what would happen is my null would also lift up because what's happening here is at this point it is pointing at my uh, my base which is the target but when I come up here it's still wanting to point at the base um, I could maybe even use some espresso and make a null and tie the Y position of this goal to the Y position of my null and use the null as a target. So there's there's a couple different thoughts that I've had on that. I haven't really played with them. Um, you know, check it out. Try it. See, um, this works good enough for me because for one, when my claw is open, it's not really grabbing a hold of the things. It's when it's closing that it's grabbing a hold of things. So um, one of the things that I, I really have wanted to work on with that but have not. So I'm going to reset the PSR on that, bring them back, back down to where they need to be. And I think our claw is pretty much finished. Now um, earlier when I was playing around I ended up not liking the sharp edges on this and so I tried to like drag out my cloner and I tried to drop my base into a hypernerb and then try to drop my cloner back into it and I broke things so um, if you get to this point and you don't like this you might want to command Z and get back to the point before you drop this in and did your up vector because um, even even making sure my up vector was all correct it still just didn't work so I'm gonna leave this the way it is I'm okay with that and actually most of this is going to be submerged into other geometry already so um, now I made this in a in a totally new project and I, I did that just to keep the the project cleaner but what I'm gonna do now is go open my yes right here arm tutorial 5 project file and this is where we left off last time after finishing the hydraulics um, so let me go window and untitled 3 I think is where we're at and I am going to do a few things here I'm going to grab all of this and I'm going to wrap it in a null alt G and I'm going to call it claw and now here we go again file save object preset and then you could use this some other time some other place in other projects now I've already done that and I've already showed you how to do that so I'm not going to do it again but what I am going to do is copy this go into my other project arm two and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to drag it down and I can see that uh, the dimensions are a little bit off for my robot arm but what I'm gonna do is kind of get it into place and then I can rotate it and get it where I want it and square it up um, and actually I'm gonna grab my controller user data and I want to zero this back out um, let's see I think this would be easier just by typing zero okay and that way that's flat I'm gonna grab my claw and I'm gonna rotate it 180 degrees 
holding down shift I can snap and 170 and 180 all right move that up into place and zoom in a little better on this And I'm going to go into my side view just to look at uh, how this is interacting with the other geometry. Whoops. And yes, it is intersecting, which is what I want. But I'm actually going to make it intersect a little more. And then I'm also going to scale it up. Because then, then I'll need to move it. that should be big enough and I want this to intersect and what I'm going to do is come out just so that the spheres are a little bit out so that should be good there all right attached there we go one more thing we need to do is drop the claw into the knuckle so I'm gonna just get a few of these um, closed up and I think I can drop it right here so I'm gonna take the claw and drop it right there and then I'm gonna test that by using my controller and uh, because of my screen recording and so many polygons going on I'm kind of lagging along here okay so we are looking good I can grab a hold of this and I can push it in I can open it. I can also uh, use oh my uh, okay I need to look at that because because I'm inside of a hypernerbs you can kind of see that my rotation uh, my base is not big enough now so I'm just gonna go in and change that really quick base uh, I'm pretty sure, yes, I never made that editable, so. That might have went too far. Okay, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to take a quick render. Oh, no, I don't want to do that, because I've got GI on and all. Well, maybe not. There we go. All right, so that's how that's working. Okay, so the uh, espresso is very easy to work on for this. So I'm going to go to my controller. I'm going to go to my user data, manage user data, and I need to add two data objects. I need to add um, claw open slash close. And I need that to be a float slider. And I'm. Let's see. Uh, I would need to. Okay. Um, this needs to be a value, not a percent. So I need. I'm going to use real. And I'm going to make this. Ne uh, let's see. Let's see. 500 and negative 500. And again, like we did before, um, I would want to come in here and alter these values based on uh, interactions. So I'm going to go add data, and I'm going to call this one claw 
in slash out and this also is a float slider and instead of percent I'm going to choose real I'm going to choose a minimum of uh, let's just go with a negative 500 and 500 there we go I'm going to hit OK and I'm going to double click on my espresso here and I'm going to add to my controller the user data claw in and out and user data claw open close make this a little bigger and what I'm going to do is it's my grab here that I want to drag out because this is the object that I'm moving in order to affect those pieces and so it is the Y position moving it uh, up and down that is going to make the uh, claw open and close so I'll do that one second first I want to do the Z position so I am going to choose coordinates position Z position and that will be my claw in and out and then my claw open and close will be coordinates position Y and so I just link those together and there we go um, I really recommend getting used to Expresso. Um, when I first saw a node system like that, like this, I just was like, no, that's that's not that's not 3D to me. That's you know that's some programming stuff. Um, but really, it's it's not that bad. Yes, you can get very complicated. Um, but knowing a little bit of Espresso is very nice. Okay, enough of that. Let's close it. And I'm going to go to my controller user data. And I'm going to show you that, let's just, now this is probably going to make them intersect and go all funky. Now, this was at zero, and it looked like zero was actually pretty good. So I'm going to go with zero. And I'm going to take a look at a different angle here. And wow, zero is really going to work for me. Um, so the open and close zero is fine. But the in and out, let's see, this is, I know zero will work because that's fine there. We don't want to go negative. Let's see what the, uh, okay, so negative is actually what we want to do. What we want to do here is find where, how far we can bring it in the negative without it breaking. So that's not bad there. So it looks like our maximum should be zero and our minimum should be negative 500. So I'm going to go user data. Actually, let's let's figure out both of them. So in the in and out, we're going to do maximum of zero and um, a minimum of negative 500. And then here, on the open close we're going to have a maximum of zero actually is it minimum yes a minimum of zero and a maximum of probably around 300 would be fine I think if we I think if we did 300 that would be fine but of course you can adjust it to your liking yeah, that's that's even a bit much, but uh, okay. So let's set that up. Uh, manage user data. We're going to go into the open and close, 
and we're going to do a minimum of 0 and a maximum of 250. And then the in and out, we're going to do a minimum of, uh, let's see, this we said was going to be negative 500 and a maximum of 0. So there we go. So I'm going to close that now. And I'm going to bring this back to 0 maybe. Or I'm sorry, this is just a halfway point. So let's, let's close that right up. See what it... There we go that will work and let's drag this all the way out and just make sure that we're not breaking anything here okay so that's it um, you have a robot claw if I do work on the uh, couple of different ideas that I had uh, and I come up with a, a good solution, I'll try to post those on my blog. Um, just real quick, kind of check out my blog, itvteacher.wordpress.com. Um, you can see here I have uh, posted a few, a few blog posts. Um, I gave away a scene file the other day. It's down here somewhere, a uh, new studio scene file you can have uh, for free and it's just a Dropbox um, link and this will download the studio and some of my other older tutorials I put on here um, so check it out um, follow me on Twitter if you want my Twitter is at ITV teacher. So uh, at ITV teacher. And there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Uh, sorry about materials and lighting. I'm not really going to get into that. If you have been able to build this, then I think you probably know how to do some materials and lighting. So I will leave that up to you. Uh, post any examples I want to see what you're doing with this um, it's nice to uh, see that someone's actually made the work um, post in the comments let me know send me a link to uh, a video that you've made using it that would be cool if you have any questions post them in the comments 